Welcome to another edition of Full Time Out with Kevin Two Towns for all time's sake. We got a special <laughs> episode with a special guest. So, KZ, tell tell me who you got in here for this episode, man. Man, first of all, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, you know, like you said, for old time's sake, it's been a long time. Um, I want to give a shout out to Ankh for for letting me hop on this on this pod as a co-host. But today, man. It's not about me. Like I said, we brought a very, very special guest, man. That's my brother. We've been uh, playing together uh, since we were young, uh, you know, from Team Canada to Nike Global Challenge, you name it. Uh, we played together at a high level. And then he went on to go to Virginia where he had a great career. And then uh, he ended up at Iowa State, where I like to call it his, his one and done year. You know what oh. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I like to call his one and done year. He just went there. He did his thing in the Big 12. Uh, so without further ado, my man, Mario Shayok, man. Welcome on the pod, brother. Welcome, Appreciate man. you guys having me, man. Appreciate you guys having me, for sure. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's not every day we get a, you know, Big 12 tournament MVP, you know, All-American yeah. and all, all those great accolades. So tell us a little bit about your, you know, your career path and, you know, how you ended up, you know, playing at such a high level. Where did you start? Right. I mean, like Jabo said, man, I knew him since um, we were about, like, 15. I uh, started playing uh, AAU together uh, out of the Toronto Toronto team, CIA Bounce. So pretty much, man, just um, went from Ottawa, Canada, grew up here, uh, yeah. and then tra tra uh, transferred from St. Pat's to, to Blair Academy, which is in Jersey. I was supposed to go to Brewster. Remember that, Zog? To to <laughs> yeah. <Brewster>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, 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 I, I was hearing the story. They, they, yeah, y'all was just too wild for me, man. Way too wild. <laughs> so, I, so I went to, I went to, ended up going to Blair, man. Had two good years there. It was cool. Um, yeah. First two years away from home, Double knows that's how crazy that is. And then, mm -hmm. and then, uh, I, I committed to actually committed and signed to Marquette. So I signed to okay. Marquette. Yeah, I signed to Marquette. Oh, yeah. And I thought I was going there. I committed in the uh, signed in the fall. So all year I was playing. I think I'm about to go to Marquette. I was cool. And yeah. then I remember I, I went home uh, for spring break. And uh, I'm literally watching, like, one of them halftime reports. And it says Coach Buzz Williams leaving Marquette to go to Virginia Tech. I was like, damn. Like, I, mm -hmm. and I even, like, and it wasn't even one of those things, like, I don't think he told much people because I guess it was a big deal because like, he did really well at Marquette. Had a few NBA guys, Jimmy Butler, yeah. Crowder, uh, Wes Matthews. And so, like, it was, like, perfect, man. I was one of, that's the school I wanted to go to. d is one of my favorite players. And he went there. So, um, it was a guard school. So, I was really excited about going there. And when he left, I was like, damn. So, was there uh, – sorry to cut you off. Was there any, uh, any rumors? Like, uh, like about yeah. us leaving Marquette or anything? Right. Now I ain't hear any kid. He was doing so well. It was like, he could, he could have. Yeah. I, I thought he was yeah. going to stay there for a long time, try to get a national chair, like be one of those guys, those coaches, like that sticks to the school. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and, th and then, and then when I found out, I'm like, damn, like, I'm literally watching with my dad. And I'm like, yo, what the heck? So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's crazy. Because, because I think they had just made the Elite Eight at the, like, yeah, One not two years before, ago. yeah, not too long yeah. before that, yeah. yeah. So they're making a tournament every year, like it wasn't it wasn't no it and their butts about it. So it was like an up and coming school. Um, and then I remember like, right. when, the, when the when the when the coaches start like recruiting, you know, you know how it is when like they call you, yeah. text you every every day, saying the same <laughs> thing. Like it's like, yeah. it's like it's like it's like it's like you're trying to holler at a girl that don't want you, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta find you gotta find a way to say no, man. So, yeah. Like, so I'm saying like you don't know if y'all message each other yet. I'm just like, man, y'all all saying the same thing. Text me, call me. I'm like, yo, I'm straight. And I, I really took it, and I was very confident in high school. So I was like, man, wherever I go, I'm trying to be, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get to the league in two years. You know what I mean? Like, okay. That, that's, mm -hmm. that's how confident I was. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, yeah. it don't really matter where I go. So I ended up just going going to Virginia instead, um, because I went to uh. Uh, I went to a visit right before I committed to Marquette, and I really went on the visit knowing I wasn't gonna go there because I was in love with Marquette. You know what I mean? So yeah. So once 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 uh, Buzz left, man, I was I was I wasn't scrambling. Cause I had a lot of interest, but I never been that type to like go party and like those visits. I was I really wasn't trying to be there like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And then, yeah. So then I ended up being like, yo, I'm just going to Virginia. I already went on a visit there. 
they just went to the uh, Sweet 16. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm like, all right, they got buzz. Like, they got buzz right now. They they getting, they going to be on the rise. They have a lot of guys coming back. And me thinking, see, that's what I mean. I do my research now. Like, man, I'm going to the school where uh, I know I'm going to play. I'm going to have a chance to mess up. And, like, and, and yeah. like, if I could possibly get to the tournament, that'd be ideal. Back yeah. then, man, I was just like, I want to be on a, a team that goes to the tournament, try to win it all. Like, it's crazy now how it's changed, though. You know what I mean? So, and I'm going to Virginia, and it, was, and it was still smooth. I remember, like, my first pickup game there, and this is when I, like, I did not know how to work. Like, I was just, I was just a hooper. Like, I literally right. just, like, like to play. I didn't, I really didn't do the reps, like, uh, like, real, real work, you know what I mean? Like, how kids are doing now. They got trainers now. But I wasn't really doing crazy, crazy intense trainers. Um, just being, like, 18, right? And then yeah. went to school. I remember my first, first pickup game. I killed. I was like, man, I'm the man. I, like, I killed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was killing everyone. I was killing everyone. I'm like, man, this, this college ain't going to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about yeah, to be a one yo, and done. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it was just like, yo. It was just like, yo. It, it wasn't no coaches. It wasn't no coaches practice. It wasn't no, like, you know, right. crazy eyes on you. It was just pick up. And that's me, man. Yeah. Give me the ball. Mm-hmm. pretty much going ISO. Set a screen mm-hmm. for me. Like, I'm, I'm shooting or I'm, I'm going to give you a nice down type stuff. So, I was feeling good, and then the next week, uh, I found out that I had to get surgery because I had a cyst in my knee, right? So oh, right. I had to remove oh, that. Yeah, so I was gone the whole summer, man, just like that. And that's the first time I've ever been, like, away from basketball in my life. So I was like, man, I was sick. I was sick. Right. And then all summer, I'm just like, I'm at Virginia. It's hot as hell. I don't really, I don't really mess with anyone there. Like, very, like I, I don't really open up until I really get to know somebody, you know what I mean? So I was just kicking in my room. Not trying to go eat with dudes, just trying Let to chill. Let me ask you this then. So who yeah, was yeah, your yeah. When, when, uh, while going through these tough times? Who was kind of your your I'm not going well mentor or big brother on the team? You were yeah. a freshman, obviously. Um, who was kind of there to help you out during that time? Uh, it was definitely just in in Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah, uh, they they I remember, <laughs> I remember um when I started getting back here, bringing me to workouts. Uh, we're just us three just working out. Like they knew mm-hmm. I was ready to help them, right? So. I haven't yeah. started coming back. Like, they're in my ear, like, yo, just stay with it, work hard, yada, yada, yada. And then as soon as I was able to come back, man, I was ready to go. Like, I remember I'm picking up dudes, uh, mm-hmm. playing well, man, as a freshman. I mean, like, now I was the only freshman playing. Yeah, four yeah. guys, I was the only freshman playing. So, like, Virginia, this is when we were really slow. Like, talking about we had games where we, we, we scored 50. I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> yo, I remember, I, I remember that 2015 season. People were complaining, like, yo, is Virginia that's bad my for first, basket? Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, first that, year. that, that was your first year. Guys yeah, yeah. shutting so, like, teams down to like 30 points. It's like, man, right. is that so, team bad for basketball? Yeah, so, like, nah. teams are scoring 27 points against us. Like, we talking about this is this is a 35 <laughs> second clock, too. They, 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 they uh, they cut yeah, it down they to 30. Now. Yeah, they changed it to this 30. 30 yeah. Right, this is 35, and we're not shooting until under seven. I'm telling you, and we're running the same, same play. Like a yeah. uh, like a blocker move, like a, a flare yeah, and a mover, damn screen yeah. at the same time. Yeah, so we running mm-hmm. that. So I remember like practice, man. I'm, I'm trying to do my thing and the uh, three on three drills is perfect. I'm just trying to go ISO, trying to get a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yo, like, none know, of yeah, that is happening do... in the game, though. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, repeat this. So like, so I'm, in practice, I'm killing. I'm like, yo, I'm shooting my shots because mm-hmm. it's just like it's three on three, so they don't really care about what shot you take. Some step back, right. side steps. Uh, like I remember, I took like. Uh, dude was playing be kind of good. I remember I took like 10, 15 dribbles like Harden. And, like, and yeah. I finally got a spin there and I scored on him. Coach, Coach Man was low-key mad like, hey, uh, you're taking all those dribbles. It's not going to be – he's like, don't worry about it. Uh, you're not going to be able to take that many dribbles in the game. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, dude, hey, yeah, low-key, that was a tough move. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you, you, you ever seen uh, Kyrie when he was on the Celtics when he uh, – Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Against oh, the Bucks. And, yeah. And then he finally hit him with that spin. Nobody yeah. Said, oh, you're never going to do that in the game. <laughs> that yeah. So I, so I remember like, I started feeling the vibes. Damn, I'm like, yo, I don't know what's going to happen. But remember the first game, I'm not even tripping about not coming off the bench because mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's Malcolm it's Malcolm and Justin at two and three. I'm like, whatever. I mean, right. like, and mm-hmm. London's at the one, so I'm cool. I'm calling the bench free. Just trying to go score, play hard defense, mm-hmm. yada, yada, yada. So yeah. I'm scoring like, 
nine, eight. I'm like, man, but it feels like a lot because we're not scoring. Right, so we, right. Because we didn't score, we didn't, we didn't score yeah. like 15. So, so nine like, was a lot. Nine was yeah, no, it lot. seemed like a lot because Malcolm, Malcolm was like a first-team All-American averaging like 14 a game. It was, yeah. No, he, right. yeah, yeah, that's the second. It's his junior, I'm pretty sure I was like 15. And he like, yeah. like, uh, like, I'm scoring like right there with the top players on our team and we're winning. And I'm talking about we're winning, winning. Like, we didn't lose till January 31st. So, I remember we played Duke comes to our spot. Uh, what's that thing called? College, college game day. I mean, yeah, college man. game day. And when ESPN is there for, for the, because the game night. Whatever. Right, all day. So, the hype yeah. and the buzz, you're watching it, you're in your dorm room. I, and it's when you're, you know, my freshman, so I'm living in a dorm. So, I'm hearing all these people, you know, you decided everyone's hype. And uh, Trey Jones, quick, we're up like, we're up like 10, but like four or five minutes left. <laughs> You're talking about Tyus Jones. Yeah, Tyus, yeah. Tyus Jones, my fault. Tyus Jones. Yeah. Uh, Justice Winslow. That, that, that's a championship team. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jalil. Jalil. Jalil was a monster. Yeah. Jalil it's funny you monster. say that, Meryl. Sorry to cut you off. It's funny you say that because uh, that same year, we had played on the second round NCAA. And, and, and it's funny you say that because um, Okafor was definitely a monster, bro. Like, he was on – Stop, oh, man. Crazy. You were talking about number I, one pick. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. 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 It was between yeah. him and Towns. Like, everybody was like, oh, right. it's him and Towns. And Towns, yeah. Towns really came out of nowhere at the end, though. Because yeah, Jalil right. was coming, It was Jalil all year, right? So Jalil, right. Jalil was remember. putting up numbers. Towns is like, they were playing with that platoon team where they had, like, 15 guys that they yeah. had to play 10 minutes. But yeah, Towns... Yeah, he, he was coming off, the, coming off the bench on that team. Like, that, was, yeah. that team was crazy. That so, like, crazy. yeah. Right. So, Jalil, I remember... I've never seen a scout like that. Cause usually we scout and we don't trip about who, like the uh, uh, personnel because our, our defense was that crazy good. Yeah. I remember the whole week, all we're talking about is how we're going to double Jalil. He was but, that nice, right? Uh, hold hold so on, we, 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 You guys did it. I, I remember that game vividly, though, because you guys did a great job on Jalil. Great like, job. Every, right. he, he didn't play that well. We killed him. Like, we, we he couldn't him. score. Exactly. Like, every like, time we touched him, it. there was a second guy coming like straight up. Right. Like, nah, so he worked like, on that for a whole week. Holy. Yeah, and then and then uh and then I remember Quinn Cook, Justin Winslow killed that whole game. He was carrying him, but Quinn yeah. Cook hit like yeah. two threes, and then Ty Jones hit the hit the dagger. Boom! Yeah. I was like, damn, that was our first loss. So we only lost like four games that year. And every game we lost, like we lo- we lost a lead. You know what I mean? Or we or we started crazy bad, like down fourteen off the gate or something like that. Mm-hmm. So we I mean, we end up we end up losing to to um to Michigan State. Right, so back to back years. Yeah, play. in second round. So we lose right. second round, right? So we lose to them. I was like, man, good first year. I'm cool, and like, I'm gonna come in. Justin's gone. He just went to the league. I'm trying yeah. to come in at that three spot. Me, Malcolm at the wings, and try to take my game to a whole level. You know what I mean, I'm working hard, right. working harder. And but then, no, let, 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 let's go back though. Let's go back to it first. Did you ever think about go uh, following Buzz at at V Tech? Because this nah, is my friends. Right, I didn't because I knew it was gonna be a rebuild. I'm trying to, I'm trying to win and like, you know, be all right. right. All, this yeah. and all that, you know what I'm saying? So like, mm-hmm. you go. The thing, looking back, I made, I may have considered it more. Just so I would have played a lot more. Probably should yeah. have like 15, 16. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't mm-hmm. thinking like that. And I wish, I wish someone would have told me, yo, just, just like, just go do it for you. I didn't want to yeah. tell you to like, do it for the team, but you try right. to, to, to try to get to the league. You gotta, you gotta put yourself in the best position to. To, exactly. Uh, to kill to kill if you want to get there. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and I didn't I didn't know that late. And so yeah, man. I mean, the next year I'm ready. To, I'm poised to come in and be that next wing guy. And then I remember like uh, the, the the season's about to approach and practice. And I'm looking. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why am I not mm-hmm. on the uh? You try, the like, blue team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I wearing know. the right color, man. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So first, at first, like the first practice, you don't really play like starters. You got guys like Malcolm and Mudd on the same team. So you realize, all right, if these guys are not on the same team. This is not starting, right? The season started calm. And I'm, I found myself on that bench unit. I'm like, uh, first two games. I'm so, this, I'm so mad. I play so bad. I don't think I scored the first game. I'm so pissed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even having fun. Second game comes, the dude that started and didn't play well, and he got upset on the road to George Washington, right? Yeah. He, he plugged me in right before we go to, one of those uh, holiday Thanksgiving tournaments in uh, Florida, I think, or somewhere, maybe South Carolina, one of those. And yeah, in Charleston. In start, right, he plugs me in a certain lineup. First game, I think I had like 10. So in 10, Virginia, that's smooth. 
that's more like 17 <laughs> or 20. That's 17 or 20 range. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yo, mm. yeah, let's get it. Next game, I got 17. So I'm feeling like I got 30 damn near. Man. Like, <laughs> yeah. And we're blowing teams out. I'm like, all right, yo, let's get it. You know what I mean? Let's get the ball roll. Next game, I play well. I think I had like nine. And I play well. So I'm like, cool. But that game, I hurt my wrist. Like, I sprained it. OD, my shooting wrist. So right. I'm not practicing, and I'm not practicing, I'm not practicing, and then... For a lot of people out there, I don't think they realize also, missing practice is, is sometimes, oh, yeah. like, it's even like worse than a game. It's like a punishment, yeah. game, like a punishment. You know? Right. Yeah. It's like, right. The coaches be like, man, you're not practicing today? Like, I mean, unless, yeah. you're, unless, you're, that, unless you're that guy. Unless yeah, you're that exactly. Guy, like, you're you're basically you at a disadvantage at a, at that point. You kind of lose points on the charts, like somebody else right. climbing up the ladder while you're missing time and trying to recover. Right, cause, all. Yeah, yeah, because me, me, Devin Hall, and uh, Gary Thompson were all like you could have put any one of us. Right. In their eyes, it's like any of these three could start. Right. Mm-hmm. So I remember they I'm all like, made it to the league, so it's like it was all high caliber. Exactly. Well, that's right? facts. So. <laughs> right. 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 So. That's the thing, though. I'm playing. I'm playing like I'm not secure, though. Like, you, know, you feel me? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. You're sort of not... tentative because of it. Yeah. So my first year, I knew I'm coming to the bench. I'm gonna come in. If I play well, I play well. Like it was crazy. Like if I didn't, if yeah. I didn't like make my first two shots, or if I messed up, they were taking you out first year. Like it was like literally you had to play perfect or you wasn't playing. Yeah. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. like it was crazy. So second year, I'm having that, but on steroids. I want to start. I thought I deserve to start, but like if I don't play well, they just want something. I already know it's coming. So now you're just like, you're playing, like you're watching your back the whole time, not yeah. really playing free. That's when it really started. I'm like, man, so after that, I'm up and down. And I'm getting frustrated, like, yo, because now I lose my slot. You're switching that, that lineup again. I'm like, man. So eventually, I'm like, yo, forget it, yo. Let me just let me just do me. I'm kind of the bench again. So now I'm playing my best basketball, bro. I'm like scoring double digit games. We're winning. And we're killing this year. This year, we're even low-key nicer. Low-key. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so we're going, we're going to the tournament, but we lose. And I'm killing it. I'm feeling like right. we're just playing a win, trying to win the tournament. So I'm playing. I play well every tournament. So second year I come in, I'm confident. Conference, conference tournament, killing, playing well, scoring double digits every game. And but we lose to UNC. Let's go try to win this natty. We're killing. I remember I have a. Uh, that's it. That's the year UNC went to the finals, right? Yeah. Yeah. But Pete, this though, like every every team in the final four, bro, we beat that year. It was crazy. Okay. We beat Nova. We beat yeah. Nova and we beat UNC. So so then I'm like, yo, tournament comes and we play Butler second round. I, I, I damn near save him. I get hot. We're down like 10. And you know, when you're down 10 in the tournament, especially yeah, it's tough. Oh, it feels like you're down 20. Yeah. Right? And it's tough to switch it as, as, on Virginia because we play so slow. So then you're telling mm-hmm. us, yo, let's pick up the, the pace. And we never practice that. You know what I mean? So, you're right. So, right. But that's where, that's where I excel. Oh, where are we just going to play free now? All right, bet. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> score, score, uh, score, three. Bucket, Comfort bucket, zone. bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Bring him back. Malcolm takes us home, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I go into, I think we play, it's crazy. We play Iowa State next. Uh, we won. We bust the ass. You know what I mean, it's like they had like mm-hmm. it was in Chicago too, so like we had so many fans. Uh, right. And then, yeah. and then uh, the next game, bro, Syracuse. Play right. Syracuse. That was what the uh, Elite Eight. Yeah, Elite Eight. Elite eight. One more game yeah. going to the four, bro. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, yo, let's go. And we beat Syracuse. Already. I think I already twice already. You know what I mean, like we already ACC. played. Them. Yeah, like, they're ACC. in the ACC, so you guys probably yeah. Yeah. all beat them. They're, yeah. Right, they're a young team. Malachi Richardson fight their best player, and they had uh, what's the uh, the tall white boy, uh, Lightning. So, so like we, yeah, yeah, we yeah. So we're coming in like, yo, oh, where is this Syracuse? Just do what we do, bust their ass, right? So we're playing well. We up twenty, someone. Right. right. Trying to go Something to like the four. Eighteen. Or, so we're up big. And I remember, I think up about ten minutes left. I swear we're up like eighteen. I'm like, yo, it's over with. We're gonna slow the game down. And then Malachi Richie can go crazy. He said, All right. Three, <laughs> three, <laughs> everything, everything. Yo, he lit, I was, yo, his stock went up crazy after that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. So then, so he went nuts. Dude, light and hit a three with, with one shoe on. It was like everything was going bad and we're losing the lead. <laughs> and I'm like, All right, yo, bet. Like, we need a bucket. We can't score. Get me in. Bro, right. We lose the lead. I didn't play the whole second half and I just like, I was just a spark two games ago. So I'm right. like, bro, how do I not play in the second half? I'm sick. Yeah. Everyone mad. I was like, at that point, uh, was your uh, communication with uh, Tony good? Like, how did y'all 
Like, were you able to, could you go up to him and be like, yeah, coach, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, I feel like I can contribute a little more. Like, is, is that the type of relationship you have with him? Like, how, how was it? It was weird because, like, he was so, like, yo, all about the team, all about the team. So I'm very I feel right. like uncomfortable to be like, yo, yeah, like, what about me? Yeah. Even though it's like, right. at the end of the day, like, they don't, it's, 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 but the correct answer is, all right, be about the team, be about the team. And I, and I was <laughs> all about the team, yeah. always trying to win, right? But you still yeah. thinking in the back of your mind, yo, what's next after this? Because he's going to yeah. be straight. He got a million dollar yeah. job. He's going to be a coach. You know what I mean, like, I got, mm-hmm. I'm trying to get, like, I'm trying to, like, help my family. I'm trying to get to the league to, like, yeah. reach my dream. You know what I mean? So I'm like, right. it's tough to have a conversation. Um, I've definitely mm-hmm. had it for sure. Um, right. I don't know how, how productive it was. But after the, after that game, though, I remember I talked to my brother, talking to my family, yo, I'm trying to get out of here. I can't do this. You know what I mean, like, how do I right. not play in the second half? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm considering leaving. I talked to one of the coaches. He, like he, he's like, "Yo, just go talk to them. Um, mm-hmm. Like, don't, don't, like, just relax first. And you know what I mean, like, take your time with it." I go yeah. talk to him. He's and he's like, Loki convincing me to like, say, hey, "Malcolm's gone. I want you to come in. Um, be that, like, like fill out, fill those shoes. Not like, not to be Malcolm. I don't think he. To be honest, I don't think like he knew I was nice. But yeah, the way Malcolm played, I think it was like his ideal, ideal main option. Like he left. Right. Like, Malcolm's not. The flashiest dude. He's, yeah, he's like yeah. a really good defender. Like it's like Virginia basketball, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I play a little bit more like free. You know what I mean, I, I right. play a lot of fast tempo. I don't know if he wanted that. So he, he told me like, yo, Malcolm's gone. There's a lot of opportunity, a lot of minutes, a lot of shots. And right. I locked in, lost 20 pounds of fat, changed my whole body. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling great. Uh, working crazy at home. Come yeah. back. Shots better. Everything is a little bit better. You know what I mean, I come back, picking up juice full of plane. Uh, like three on three, like uh, pickup on the side nets, you know what I mean? Like in practice, you know, mm-hmm. I'm killing dudes, I'm winning. Um, I'm lead, like we have a, this is this is like this is like Kyle guys, Ty Jerome's, DeAndre Hunter, it's like freshman right. year. Yeah, they're freshman so, year. Like, so this is high to me. They're still high school kids. It's like they're coming in from, <laughs> and I'm kill, and I'm yeah. killing them. Yeah, like like I'm killing them. And these guys are all, these are all my these are all my bros. You know what I mean? Like Kyle always say they always they always say yo that first summer. I'm about dunking on dudes. This is what I do. I'm already. <laughs> this is. This, I mean, one on one is what was, I do. You know what yeah. I'm so, yeah. I'm making it was like they're goes. they're welcome to college. You know, you yeah, introduced them to college college right. ball. <laughs> Go practice is about to start. You know that feeling. October. Once October comes, you got three yeah. practices. All that. And I'm leading. I'm talking more than I ever talk. And that's what they used to be on me about. I used to be quiet and stuff. I'm talking crazy. I don't even like talking like that back then. Right. I'm talking, I'm talking right. crazy, right. I'm talking right. crazy, <laughs> helping these young guys out, trying to teach them, trying to be a leader. Like, yo, trying to leave no doubt that I should be one of the main guys on this team. So I'm thinking here, mm-hmm. yo, I'm going to play well here and try to get up out of here or set myself up to be like, all right, I'm on the radar for next year, right? So, yeah. So, uh, same thing. Practice starts around and <laughs> <laughs> right, this, this, time is, this time is crazy. I'm like, practice comes around and I'm looking and I see Kyle Guy on my team and I see Ty Jerome. I'm like, these, these freshmen that are barely gonna play like that. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, not even, but and, right, and like the thing is, it, I, I remember the the the, the red shirt DeAndre that year, right? Yeah, they red. Because I'm like, it was too many guys. I'm like, I'm thinking, I have the young guys on my team, and like, we're not winning anything. So it's looking even worse. I'm like, what is going on right now? So yeah. I'm like, whatever. I'm more mature now. I'm playing hard. Like I said, I'm still doing me, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I remember I got hurt before like the first the first game or like a few before, before the first scrimmage. So I don't even play in the scrimmage. The second right. scrimmage. Next game, I'll come in. I'll come on the bench, but I'm, I'm more mature. I'm older. Lean score, 15. You know, 15 is really like 24. Yeah. 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 Especially Next that game. year, because that year you guys were even slower because you didn't have that. You, the same right, power, right, yeah. right, right. So, coming off, boom, lean score off the bench. Pete oh. this. So, I started, yeah. I'm starting off. I'm starting off adding right. this game here. We go into, I'm talking pistol. I'm like, yo, what's the word? I mean, like, how am I coming to bench? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, like, you know, my pops, my brother. So they're, they're, yeah. they're obviously frustrated too. Like, yo, I'm playing exactly. well. Let me go. Let me let me be free. Cause uh-huh. I think about thirty in a row. Uh-huh. You no know, pissed. Uh-huh. But then he, uh-huh. but then he, but then we're not winning as much. So he puts me in. I have all career highs. I'm 17, 19, playing well. Uh-huh. I'm like, yo, let's get it. And uh-huh. I'll never forget, bro. We had a stretch of like UNC, Villan, not Villanova. Um, yeah, Villanova on at Villanova in Philly. And I play. I remember top. I was tied, tied your own breakout game. Yeah. Like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I remember that was funny because because I was like, yo, who's this kid calling ISOs, man? He's a freshman. It's like, right. right. <laughs> I remember I'm, like, I'm, I'm playing well. I'm like, Josh Hart's supposed to go to the league. I'm, I'm giving a bucket. I'm guarding him playing pretty well. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm playing. I'm playing good. So I'm one team in the country right now. Like, I belong here. Uh-huh. I mean, like, they consider him one of the best wings in the country. I feel like I'm, I'm, feel like I'm doing, I'm holding my own. I'm, I'm playing better than actually at, at, at that game, right? So yeah. we mm-hmm. lose to Villanova at the buzzer. DiVincenzo, uh, uh, put back with tipping. We go back home and we play Duke. Tatum. Oh my goodness. 28. <laughs> 28. 28 and like seven threes. Just kill. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, we lost two in a row. Tatum at the four, but there's uh, who is who are the two? Well, Luke Kennard. Uh, that's the year. Yeah, Luke Kennard. That's who Kennard I matched up with. Sick. And he was supposed <laughs> to be like, yo, first round. And Grayson Allen was always, I'm so locked in. I'm guarding like, I'm guarding like I've never had. Trying to lock yeah. up. We go in UNC. Just mind you, we lost two in a row against two really good teams. Yeah. Go to UNC. It's their college game day. I'm the leading scorer, I think. Nobody really plays great. We got blown out. Smack. This is the first time we ever lost three in a row since I've been here. So everyone's uh, panicking. Mm-hmm. We have a next game, home game. We're retiring Malcolm's jersey. And the buzz. All right, let's just, let's just knock, uh, beat Miami. We're, so, we're better than them. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's smack them and, like, you know what I mean? Have a good night. We lose, bro. We lose to Miami. So we lost four. Best four. Never forget it. So I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? I'm in class. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in English class. <laughs> I get a text. I get a call, a text from Coach Bennett. Call me when you're out of class or something like that. Well, we're going to have to change the thing and, like, change the lineup. I'm, I'm right now, I'm blank. I'm like, yo. So essentially, I'm like, I'm feeling, I'm what, 20, 21 at the time? Oh, huh. so pretty much just four game losing streaks on me. You got to so be the fall guy on, in this situation, basically. It felt like that. That's what it felt like. I'm why yeah. am I getting mm-hmm. uh, You know what I mean? Like, so I remember calling my brother. Seems like I, I got home from class. I said, yo, it's my last year at Virginia, straight up. I don't care. I remember I wore the biggest shorts to practice in a big, big, <laughs> big yo. I, I, I didn't get, I didn't get tape. I didn't get tape. Everyone, everyone already felt my name. Everyone's like, what's up with dude? I'm, I'm just chilling. Like, I wasn't like, yo, after everybody shit, but I was just like, I did, like, I wasn't dreading practice. I was ready for practice. And I'm like, yeah. mm-hmm. stretch and just get it. Be, every drill, I'm talking, I'm hitting jumpers. Boom, boom. And I'm looking at, I'm looking at the coaches like, yo, look at them straight, dead eyes. No, <laughs> <laughs> jumper, jumper, killing that practice. You know what I mean? You, you took it personally. <laughs> and I came out. I'm going to be like, all right, boom. But, so okay. my energy, my energy did change. Like, I didn't care as much as far as starting. Mm-hmm. But, like, I was like, locked in. All right, let me just, like, like all these guys on my team is like my boys. So I'm like, let's just, let me just try to win as much games, play as well as possible. Get up out of here healthy. You know what I mean? Like, get up out of here healthy. So they're, yeah. they're, they're feeling the energy too low key. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not talking anymore. I'm not talking anymore in practice. It's over. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, just, I'm just playing hard straight up. Right. I'm not going. Yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't really going to go like, like, I was, I, was, I, was, I was clearly frustrated. You know what I mean? So I'm not like, my energy is different. Tournament time comes. Me, I, I love, like, just growing up, I love the tournament. So I'm, I'm already, I'm hype again. I'm excited. Yeah. Let me just play, try to win games. We're the higher seed. We have like, our, like five, six seed or something like that. Play some like mid major school. They, I don't think I'm supposed to play that game. I'm, all, I'm pretty much out the rotation. And uh, I remember we're again like low key. Like it's like the, what happened they, the next year ha- almost happened that, that year. Feel me? Like we're down mm-hmm. 12, 14. And I remember he starts Kyle. Kyle, I don't know if he's not playing well or that foul, so I forget. But he's on the bench. Then he puts Ty in before me. I'm like, okay, that. And yeah. I think someone else had foul trouble. Or I think a tie got two or something like that. So he, yeah. put, he puts me in finally. I like, <laughs> I don't know what mark. He puts me in. And I'm like, cool, let's get it. He, we need it. We need, it's perfect because we're down, so we need scoring. I get hot. Score like 12 in the first half. Bring us mm-hmm. back. Second half, hitting threes, jumpers, killing. You know what I mean, like, it's a mismatch. I'm putting the four on me, I'm killing. I mean, mm-hmm. like, they're putting a younger, uh, smaller guy on me. I'm killing. I'm scoring. Yeah. And I hit a big shot, big shot to put us up to secure the game, right? So, yeah. we win. That was against time. UNC, right? UNC Wilmington. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we win, bro. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, damn. 
That, that was your TV. career high at, at Virginia. Yeah, right? 20, my first yeah. time scoring 20 plus, which is crazy. I'm like, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, man, uh, everyone feel good. Do the joking on me, are you staying still? I'm like, hell no, nah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna play. I told you, I'm gonna always, I'm gonna always play hard. If I get an opportunity, right. I, I feel yeah, like right. I'm gonna play well regardless. I'm always play hard. I'll never do that. I'm never not, I'm gonna never cheat the game like that. So yeah. I'm playing on the next game. You play Florida, you get blown out. After that game, yo, and the man, like my dogs, who was a bit real, I remember it was me, Jared. Ruder, you know Jared uh, uh, Sabo, yeah, Ruther. right, yeah, my yeah. dog, and then and then uh, uh, Darius Thompson, who was also like he was going through the same thing I was going through, pretty much like not, yeah. not knowing if he's gonna start. Yeah. He's like really like a fast paced point guard. He was nice, but mm-hmm. Virginia wasn't able to really beat him. You know what I mean? And I remember like uh, Jared, Jared's in my ear. I'm out. Jared's not even playing after the second year, or whatever. Yeah. He's gone, yeah. he's gone. I'm like, all right, yeah, just wait, just wait. Let's just let's just cool off. Bro, two days later, I'm in class. Yo, I'm going to talk to him right now. I'm like, damn, I can't be. I can't, be, I, can't I can't be the third guy. Ain't no way. Right. So I went, yo, coach, I texted him. Oh, yo, hey, what's up, coach, man? I ain't talking to you soon. I go in right after Jerry, coach. Yeah. And you know, it's, and it's crazy. It's off the court. Yo, me and Coach Ben were cool. Like I used to go to, I used to go to his spot, uh, his house right. all the time for dinner. Always mm-hmm. talking about movies, da da da. So we were cool off the court. You know what I mean, like, I never had no drama, mm-hmm. no beef. Never had no like. We never had no like uh, verbal argument or none of that. You know what I mean, I've always right. like, grown up in like uh, African household. You just respect to your old elders. So I never really tripped on nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean, uh, right. Right. As, right. as frustrated as I was, as frustrated as I was, mm-hmm. I never really tripped on anybody. And then mm-hmm. I remember like I went in like, "Yo, coach, it's been real, man." But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bounce. I gotta move, up, move forward. I mean, it was cool. Like, mm-hmm. he wished me well. Uh, he, he knew though. He knew like it wasn't for me. You feel me? So. I remember right. getting a lot of schools. I'm just I remember I'm coming out of playing. I just played while I'm trying to get a yeah. lot of schools. My mindset. I remember me and my brother were on it. Like, yo, we're not going anywhere where I'm a complimentary player. I, already, I, I know my abilities. I'm confident. I'm like, man, I need to go somewhere where people let me cool. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you're going into details with your whole Virginia experience because you know a lot yeah. of kids out there, man. You know when they go through all these ups and downs. You know, a lot of these kids out there, their first thought is, okay, man, like, F this, F that, you know, they feel exactly. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they they, they, they want to give up, and they feel like, you know what I'm saying, the people owe him stuff. And I like how you right. went into details about no matter how, no matter what you was going through, you know, you were still working your ass off, um, right, right, you know, right. you, you, you was able to stay level-headed, and, and it paid off. Yeah, and, and also, and also one of the other things that you mentioned is that you're pretty honest about the fact that early on, you didn't know how to really work. And the fact that yeah, you said, true. you know, afterwards you understood how, how to really work, then mm-hmm. that's when you saw, okay, if I'm not getting the opportunity now that I know how to work and I'm busting people's ass, I mean, when am I really yeah, going right. to get it? You know, so it's like, yeah. Right. yeah right. You really have to, you know, show before actually making that decision. It's like, if you're not really showing up and doing the right stuff, exactly. then you shouldn't be complaining about, about your PT or whatever, you know? Exactly, exactly. Like, I, I did, I made, I'm saying, I, I did, I made sure I checked every box. I even asked mm-hmm. him before I went home, before that summer, I went home uh, for my junior year. I asked yeah. him, yo, like, what do you want from me? Touch it. Like, everything he wanted from me, I made sure I did. I came in doing that, right? Made right, sure right, right, right. Uh, mm-hmm. Your shot better, all that. Be a mid one vocal, be a leader. I did all that, mm-hmm. and it felt like I still didn't go my way. I was like, I had to box. I mean, so. Yeah. Like, um, even even I considered going to uh, Liberty, which is a mid major in Virginia too, because my old my old coach, my freshman year, who I really walked with, Mike McCoy, yeah. he was definitely the closest one to me, and he's yeah, the one that like yo pushed to play me more. You know what I mean? That, that was my right. coach. You know what I mean? Like that was my coach. So like, when he left, I feel like I'm on an island out there, bro. On island. So I was yeah. like, man, like, no one really. I feel like I, no one really had my back. You know what I mean? So I remember I was like, yo, I almost went there. He's like, talk, he's talking to me like, yo, Seth Kirby went here. He averaged like 23. Uh, yeah. He wants Facts. me to come in. We're going to play the same defense Virginia does, but he wants me to go go for 30. Go play the mm-hmm. big, the, 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 the Blue Bud schools and kill them. Like Kentucky, you want to play Kentucky? Go got 30 on them. All that type of stuff. I'm like, man, sound good, right? So I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm low key messing with it. But the thing is, Iowa State taught me the same thing as far as. Like, no, oh, okay. I, I go there. I go there. I'm like, cool. Uh, Naz hit me up. Yo. Consider it going to visit. I'm gonna be there when you come. So I go, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, I thought Coach Tomlin straight up, yo, 
I ain't coming here unless I had my brother do it because I didn't want to sound, I didn't want to sound right. arrogant. So I told right. you we're honestly looking for a school where he could really come in and if he works and he does all the right things, that like he could really excel, like no hole in the back type stuff. Cause he right. can score. Yeah. Well, what's right. cool? Like, Coach Phones, like, I could see in his face, it's like, man, man, he asked Loki for a lot for a uh, body of 15 year senior, right? But he lost yeah. a lot of guys. This is perfect. Like, Naz, it's like they just won a Big 12. So Monte, Naz, DeAndre, right. Brayton. Uh, shout out to Naz, Naz Canadian. Yeah, yeah, shout out Naz. Uh, George. Matt. So it's really, it's really Monte, Naz, uh, Matt Thomas, and Deontay Burton, all league dudes, right? Yeah. So, facts. Um, they all leave. So I'm like, cool. Yo, you don't have any dude like that. Lindell Wigginton, he, he, he coming out of high school. He talented. He coming out of high school. He might not even be there the year I play because he, yeah. he projected maybe even going one and done, right? So mm-hmm. I'm coming in like, yo, I'm like, listen, if, if I'm the best player, let me be the best player type stuff. Yeah. And you look at me and like, yo, we'll do that, whatever, whatever. The word is I couldn't shoot for whatever reason. Yeah, where did I work? That's because Coach Phone's making jokes about, yo, he can't shoot. And I wasn't like a great, like, percentage shooter at Virginia, but like, so that offense just wasn't for me. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't good rhythm shots for me. So I'm like, can't shoot. I'm knocking down shooting drills on my right. You know what I mean? And then, mm-hmm. boom, we play ones. It always comes back to ones. We play ones. Yeah. <laughs> and we're playing against Naz, Naz, who is like pretty much getting ready for the league. And the other dude that's considering to, to, to take. Right. I win the one on one. I win the one on ones, but I'm, I'm, I'm making nice moves too. Yeah. But I win the one on ones. You know what I mean? Like uh, most of the spots. So now they're yeah. like, oh, word. Yo, we got to get. Like they pretty much, they went from, yo, we want you to like, yo, you have to come here type stuff. And I'm like, yeah. yo, you want me that bad and you're going to let me do this? Pretty much do what the dudes at Liberty are saying at the, at the Big 12. Because I didn't want to be like, yo, I killed at a mid major and like, oh, it's because. Yeah. Of- yeah. So I'm like, yo, I know I could do this at a, a big trouble at ATC, like, I and I. So like, that's Kansas, Texas, all that, right? So Yeah, elite, like, elite level. Elite, it's the same thing. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah. yo, if I could do this at a big 12, I'm going to the league. Mm-hmm. That year in Iowa State, bro, I'm talking about. <laughs> that, that, that first year there, that first year there, bro, it's nothing to do. It's so cold. It's not, you know it's Iowa. It's so cold. Oh, man. It's lucky cold. it's lucky colder than Ottawa because there's not many buildings. So the wind exactly. is crazy. I'm in the gym. I'm, and the thing about uh, Iowa State that I love, the GAs, they were literally like yeah. what, what like uh, those like uh, Chris Brickley. Like, yeah. like they're, they're, oh, yeah. they're, studying, they're studying film and they're making workouts for you. So I'm like, oh, yeah, my goodness, perfect. And I got like, yeah. you know, like 20, there's 20, uh, uh, no, no, not manager, I manage. There's 20 managers. So it's like, you have two, three rebounders. So it's like very efficient, mm-hmm. getting all these shots. So I'm like, wow, I'm never been able to work like this. Like, let's get it. And yeah. I mean, every yeah. single day, I'm in there like three times a day. So like, my, my typical, say, say on Monday, I have class at. How's the uh, year you sat at, right? Just the, just yeah, the, so about yeah. the audience, yeah. so. okay. Right, right. So the year I sat out. So if I have class, and at this time, I'm going to class still. So, mm-hmm. Right. Uh, like in, I'm sitting in class, so I got to get there. So I'm, I'm I'm getting in a workout in the morning, uh, whether mm-hmm. it's I think it's probably let's say like I had weights. I'd get there earlier, like earlier than the weights from the start, and get get some shots in. Cause I'm, I'm thinking I don't got to really reserve my body, just get it strong. And it's like I don't really get, if I have tired legs, whatever. Okay. I'm not, right. So I'm pushing myself to exhaustion, bro. Like literally workout before weights, straight from like class to the gym. I'll eat, nap there. We have a little lounge. Uh, I'll shoot. I had a routine where I got like a few hundred shots up mm-hmm. before practice. So I'm really working on my handle, working on my vision. So right, you right, was right. really working. <laughs> you really, no, no. You was really yo, working. Yo, I, was, I was going crazy. It was like every single day. I know that these guys were like, yo, what's up with dude? Like, I was yeah. working like, yo, this is it. Because it was like my last shot. You know what I mean? So I wasn't playing yeah, no games. Exactly. I wasn't kicking it. I wasn't partying. I wasn't kicking it with really nobody. I was like, I low key, like anti social. Just going to my room and just right. chill, bro. Literally right. locked in. So in practice, I'm talking about, I'm running the one, which they didn't think I could do. They thought I was just score. So they didn't know I could dribble, do all that stuff I couldn't show at Virginia. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like my vision. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'm running the one, I'm killing. And it got to the point where I think I swear it was like a month where the, the like the, the main unit didn't win like a drill. A month might be exaggerating, but like, they, weren't, they weren't winning. They weren't. They weren't winning anything. Anything, bro. That's like, crazy. Yo, I'm, yeah, but yo, our literally, literally, our our second unit. I mean, our scout unit was better than our 
our starting five for shit. Okay. And we it, it's just me, it's me, Michael Jacobson who sat out. Yeah. A few bench and a few bench players. But they that's the thing, kill. though, because you, you two guys after the year after, you guys were starters plus right. the freshmen that came in afterwards, right? Right. With, uh, my, my, right, right. It was like a really, like, born, the most born year of my life, but it was, like, the most important year of my life. So I just, all I did was work. My shot became, I was a scorer that could hit, like, tough shots to I was a, I was a scorer that could shoot straight up. Like, now I, I'm a conservative shooter. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. after that, after that. So, I'm in – Every, everything I was uncomfortable with before that year, like, I, I got everything in my game. I felt like it was game year complete. Yeah. And so I'm coming into the next summer, and Zab, this is when the summer we're playing kick on. I'm looking a little yeah. bit different, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hey, hey, no. Hey. Hey. He's, 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 not, he's not lying, man. He's not lying. Yeah, I'm looking a little bit different. I'm hitting different shots. I'm, I'm feeling yeah. more athletic. I'm dunking. I'm feeling good, bro. So I'm coming, yeah. that, coming that year. I'm about to throw these guys up. I'm like, so Lindell ended up coming back. Everyone's yeah. talking about Lindell. Yo, he's going to yeah. be a first-round pick this year. We had uh, Kalen coming out of Chicago, who on dra- uh, draft NBA radar. Uh, yeah. Tyrese. Tyrese is about to be – that's my little bro. Tyrese yeah. was about to be like a lottery this year. He was yeah. he was supposed to be in a red shirt. He came in like 150, bro, 150 pounds. But like mm-hmm. great, he had all the attributes, right? So, mm-hmm. right. I mean, like, yo, he uh, – uh, uh, everyone's focused on, on on Lindell. So I'm like, man, I already know I'm the best player on that team. Everyone, and it's right. crazy. Everyone knows too because they, cause they, cause the year before. Everyone already yeah. knows. Right. Just the media, the media doesn't know. NBA doesn't know. And like, literally, it's, it's like. I mean, I mean, like, Lind- Lind- Lindell came in with all the hype. Like, he's a okill guy, right. you know. He, and he's he nice. Knows. That's my dog. He's oh, nice. he's nice. But, yeah. But like, I feel like I was in a different level, right? I'm hitting, I'm hitting 20 damn near every game. I'm averaging 20 non conference like all year, we all all non conference we maybe lose two, three games. I'm averaging twenty and six. And I'm shooting like fifty damn near fifty, forty, ninety, flirting with it. So now mm-hmm. after the conference mm-hmm. conference uh after non conference, man, I'm like I'm playing good ball, I'm playing good ball. We go to Kansas in the big twelve lose. too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and big I'm, Big Twelve's always like the most competitive conference because you guys have like ten teams, all super talented. It's always like you know, right, if you're playing probably. teams home and home, so it's like it's, it's tough, man. Like, yeah. And then we have the matchup. The matchup about Loki Circle. Like, yo, I'm playing Culver now. This is the same position. Mm-hmm. Everyone's mm-hmm. talking about he's a lotto. I'm like, yeah. man. And we just coming off like we just lost the uh, we lost a bad game to Kansas State at home. So I'm like, man, okay. we gotta get this win. We need this win because we're trying to win the Big Twelve. So yeah. I'm like, all right, coming there. Now I'm busting it at 15 first first half points. So I'm hitting like a few threes. All like damn near uh, pro moves. He going under mm-hmm. screen, deep NBA three. Coming off uh, uh, out of bounds under, coming off fading on a bench, mm-hmm. corner three. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling good. Oh. We win that game, and they're and they're top mm-hmm. ten in the country. I'm like, yeah. All right, yo, I'm, I'm I belong. Let me not even worry about the NBA stuff. Let me mm-hmm. just play right. me, do me. It's all gonna work out. Right, and, right. Uh, mm-hmm. And we started like we fumbled the bag, bro, and we lost like we, we lost our chances to win in the Big Twelve. But Kansas won it like damn near. What is it like nine, ten years? Ten in years, like, yeah. yeah, it was right. crazy. Yeah, it, was yeah. it had been like fifteen years since they had won it. Kansas. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy, yeah. like, man. So a week before, like the conference tournament, my toe get uh gets hurt, my pinky toe. Mm-hmm. Damn near broke. Damn near broke. So they're telling me, yo, you don't need your pinky toe like that. You're gonna be straight. You're lucky it's not your big toe. I'm yeah. like, yo, word. My foot is huge. I'm in a boot. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like, yo, I can't practice. I'm like, damn. Uh, first game. At that point, it was uh, it was the you talking about the big. Now you're going to the Big Twelve tournament. Yeah. And at that point, you guys have to basically win it all to to get into the to the exactly. NCAA tournament, right? No, we don't have to win it all to get to. We're going to be in the NCAA tournament if you want to get a higher seed, or if you wanted to just like, we just wanted to win something because like our team is okay. the most talented. Okay. Our team is the most talented team in the, in the conference by far. We have how many NBA guys, right? So like, right. So yeah. then I'm like, yo, I gotta win this shit. You know what I mean, so right. the first game. Kalen holds it down first half. He's hitting all types of shots. Second half, I get hot. I end up scoring like 18 or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Play, next game, we play Kansas State, who we went, who we split. And they were like, when I played Kansas State, bro, the first game we played them, bro, there was this dude. He literally didn't even care. I'm like, don't you want to score, bro? He literally just face guarded me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and like, and like, and, and you know, in college, like in the NBA, like, you're, you're face guarding a guy like, 
Brad Beal or or like yeah. the, the main scorer. They find the a coaches, way. To, to the coaches are gonna find a way to get it no matter what. Exactly. College, yeah. In college, it's like oh, now it's just like taking advantage. Other like the IQ is not enough to, to be like all right. 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 So yeah, we'll, we'll just basically play four, four on four at that point. Just yeah, pretty much. If you just want to yeah. get their stuff off too, right? Yeah. You just want to get their stuff off. I'm like, it was the first game. This is early in the season. I'm like, man. Like, I ended up scoring my, my first my – my, my, my first time scoring under double digits that season. Mm -hmm. Only yeah. scored, like, nine. I don't play well, but I only took, like, nine shots, too. So, I'm like, right. yo, I didn't get the ball. And, right. like, they were just chase guarding me, whatever. The next game, we beat them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first look is for – the first look is for me to get a, a shot off, like, a pin down damn near. But yeah. with that much time left on the clock, like, they weren't going to mess up. Dude was on me like crazy. So, I'm like, perfect, yo. Don't even come set a screen. I don't even need it. I, I know the shot clock on my head. I'm moving the ball around. I get. I want to just get to my side step. I know I want to get to my side step. That side, so, that damn yeah. side step. <laughs> oh god! So I, I, I'm, I'm playing with. I'm playing with the ball. Playing with the ball. I remember like my bench is standing up around me. The crowd's getting crazy. I'm, like, I'm, about to, I'm about to game this dude. Hit him with a side step at the at the uh, shot clock buzzer. <clears throat> Cash. Mm. I'm like, yo, it's yeah, lit. Perfect. We get a stop. We win that. So then we play Kansas. It wasn't even like a crazy game like that. We ended up beating them. And then like, yo, we go into the tournament. We big 12 champs. Like, yo, it's late. Like, and the worst yeah. thing I was worried about, what I was worried about was the sec if you have the second, the second, uh, if you have the second day in the last game, man, it's not good. Especially if you're, you have a young team. Because you're just, you're watching the tournament all yeah. day. Right. Anxious. You're in a hotel. Everyone's screaming right. at you. This is like, it wasn't like this year. Like this, that season, bro, there was nothing but uh, like power, power names, Zion, Duke, and those guys. Like, yeah, that's true. Who, who, who there was a lot of hype. Like, yeah, yeah. And I've been, a, and I'm the only one that's really been to the tournament other than like other point guards. For guys like been, Tyrese, Tail End, that was their first goal. Yeah, their first time, and you know they've yeah. been watching the tournament their whole lives. So like they didn't really play as well. Um, we yeah. didn't play as well as a team, and then like we ended up getting upset first round. I was, it was low-key a bet because I had to go heal my toe. I was still playing on bad toe this whole time, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ended up losing the first round, man. But, like, yeah, that was the college career, bro. It was, it was cool, man. Uh, just to, uh, it, was, it was crazy. To, 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 just to go back, like, so would you say the whole Virginia experience helped you for, for, your, for your Iowa State uh, one-and-done career in terms of, like, basketball, not necessarily mental, because you know how you're telling me Tony didn't like, you know, all that dribbling stuff. Do you feel like you found ways – um, you know, when, when the focus was on you and you was the best player, you find ways to score more efficiently um, without, like, with less dribbles and stuff like Do you think that Virginia yeah, helps you? Yeah, for sure. Like, Virginia, mm -hmm. Virginia stuff helped me. I, I got, like, a this double jab move I use where I got that from Virginia. Right. I was like, yo, I got to get I gotta get to the paint. And because, like, mm -hmm. yo, he wasn't going to – he wasn't with shooting contested jumpers. So I got to get to the paint. You know what I mean? Right, like, yeah. So I, I got that double jab move. My, my triple threat game got crazy – got way better. So I'm, yeah. I'm learning how to get to the to the paint in Virginia and two three dribbles, one mm -hmm. dribble and scoring yeah. like that. So it definitely helped my game so a, lot, a lot more efficient. And then like even like I would say my game wasn't crazy flashy. Like if dudes, yeah. if shot, shot clock was getting low, I was always comfortable getting any type of shot out. You know what I mean? But like right. most of the time, I'm shooting catch and shoot, coming off pin down shooting. Like, it's a clean, like a very clean game. Shot yeah, clock right. going down, I gotta get in my bag. So it was it was perfect going to Virginia and learning that style of basketball too. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, sort, it sort of prepared you, in, in a sense, to, for, for, for the pro level. Because at the pro level, you're not necessarily going to be a go-to guy. Most of the time, you end right. up being exactly. sort of a role player. So, you, you know. Right. But right. so after, after that college career, you know, you went through the draft process and everything. Did you have an idea of, you know, the position that you were in, most likely a second rounder? Do you have any idea of what, who are the teams that were interested in you? Right. So, like. By the time um, yeah. over, I remember I signed with an agent. Um, he's telling me, like, yo, just work. We're going to go out to L.A. We're going to start working. Um, mm -hmm. Like, get better. Get ready to kill these workouts. And it'll, it'll all take care of itself. So, like, yo, after that whole season I just had, I'm still not on draft board. I'm not looking at that. But I already know. Like, I'm like, because everyone, right. I'm no, I know, yeah. I know that because everyone's telling me, like, bro, are you going to get drafted? Like, like, not that I really listen to that, but I'm like, bro, in my head, I'm like, of course I am. I'm like, yo. There's 60 better, there's 60, there's, you're gonna tell me there's 60 better basketball players in college or in, in the draft than me? Mm. Crazy. I mean, like, none like, of them were were Big 12 tournament MVP. I mean, that's uh, <laughs> right. And, and, and it's not like, 
Yeah, like, like there, there, there is some good college players that are not really pros. You know what I mean? Like, there, there are yeah, guys yeah. that exactly. Uh, I, I forget. But you know what I'm talking about, like the guys. That you don't even need to college. name the guy. You don't need no, no, no. We we totally, you totally understand. No, because because like a lot of people miss that point because it's like there's guys that fit in the college model, like in the college right, mold, right. but don't have right. the attributes to succeed in the league. Because first off, in the league, it's a lot more open, so you need to be able to have those certain abilities one on one and have right. certain abilities to guard also. So. If right. in college you're sort of sheltered because of the system that you play in, I mean, that might not translate in the league. So a lot of guys, you know, are not league type players, even though they're, they're successful college guys, you know? So, right, I mean, right. so I, say, I, say to, I say to say like, like, yeah. like I didn't, it wasn't like, yo, I was like, I was a great system college guy. Like, that's why I can't get to the league. I'm like, bro, I'm, I have a I have like a league game. Like I could shoot, right. I could yeah. shoot in different ways. I could shoot up the dribble. I could shoot mm-hmm. up and down a catch and shoot. I'm like, yo, that's that's how what I could do to get my niche. And if I got pressured, I could still create. And I could still yeah. create for others. So I'm like, yo, of course I'm ready for this league. That's how my confidence level was at. And so all I did was just work, man, it was work. And that whole process was crazy though. Like the uh, remember, I, I, what was the first thing I did? I went to. The uh, pit, the PIT, which was crazy. I wasn't even. Oh yeah, the Portsmouth Invitational, right? Right. Yeah. So I wasn't. A, mm-hmm. I wasn't a sure bet for the combine because to them they've seen me a few years. They want to get because you only brought a certain amount of players. They want to get guys they've only seen for a year or haven't mm-hmm. seen much, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so I'm like, yo, bro, how am I not even going a sure bet for the combine? At the mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, let me not leave any doubt. I went to the pit thing, killed that mm-hmm. like. All, all team pit had like 37 in the game winner, literally the game winner at the um, game mm-hmm. at the buzzer, uh, my first game. So, yeah. like, yo, so I go mm-hmm. there, we go to combine. Like the combine was weird though, because like the drills, like I shot really well. We played, you don't, you only play like a certain amount of minutes, like right, much, right? Yeah. I mean, I think I had a decent showing, but I think I really made my niche like in the um, definitely the combine yeah, for sure, but then but, but also like the, the workout. But once the workouts right. happen, like. All right, let's get it. There's no, there's no hiding. These guys are matched yeah. up with me. Mm-hmm. We're gonna play three on three. We're gonna play one on one. We're gonna do the shooting drills. This is perfect. This is me. So my, I only had like maybe like two or three workouts. I didn't feel good about the rest, man. I feel like I killed. I mean, so I'm like, all right. Yeah. Um, I'm slowly creeping up there. So then when draft day came in, like I had, I, I was feeling like, man, you know what, yo, I did everything. Regardless, of if I go on draft or whatever, I'm, a, I'm gonna get there. And, you know what I'm saying? Living yeah. in that draft, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So, so you had no yeah, idea was, going into the draft. You did not know if you were gonna get drafted or not. No, I I feel like it was because like I had like teams really interested. I had to do I do I did a few callback workouts. Mm-hmm. Um, I was killing. I'm playing really well in my draft workouts. So I'm like, yo, I'm being drafted, right. bro. How, and I'm always no, no. Up, I'm uh, saying like I'm not not necessarily. I'm not asking like for like you know just your 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 own like personal opinion. Just like yeah. it, it, was there any team telling you like yeah yeah you, exactly I'm if sure you're there at this spot you. yeah or right. like with, 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 uh-huh. right. But the thing is, dra- the way a draft works like if a, if a dude falls like like Bull Bull mm-hmm. right if Bull yeah. Bull falls right. everyone expected him to be like top ten top fifteen. It changes the whole shit now. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. So like, no team, only a few guys get promises. You know what I mean? Like, a few guys get like, yeah. oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't got to yeah. work out type stuff. Right. I was like, right. There wasn't no promises, but I, I had really good feedback from a few teams. So I'm like, I'm feeling good about it. Um, okay. And then, yeah, I mean, that's the rest is history. So. Bless. Bless. So, um, go, go ahead, Kev. So, 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 um, after that, you went on to, to the summer league, and you know, the the first thing everybody noticed is how your game was similar to KD. You know, so. <laughs> uh, the, hey, right. the famous. We gotta talk about the famous no. KD post, man. The, what was the, the reaction, man? How'd you react right, to that? Right, man? Right. <laughs> oh, it was dope. It was dope. That's like after after Kobe. Like that's one of my favorite players. Cause you just yo, I love I love buckets. I love I appreciate. Variety of buckets, you know what I mean? Like right. KD's, KD's, KD's right there to the best score. He has everything, everything. He had no flaw, you know what I mean? So like, mm-hmm. it was, it was dope. And like, he showed, he was showing me love like during the college season, like, um, even during the okay. college, season, he was showing me a little bit of love. So like, it was dope to be like, yo, this is like my favorite player. He's like, damn. So when I got drafted to Philly, you know me, I always wear three. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 
I wear three because AI. You know what I mean? AI and D Wade. Yeah. I'm like, man, obviously that's dead. So yeah so i'm like yo what number am i going to choose i've never been any other number other than three and i was, I was four at virginia and i wasn't i wasn't three at there because they could tie that year and i was sick i was like man i don't know what i'm gonna choose but just give me four because i wanted a single digit yeah, this right. time i was like yo let me let me take a number because numbers mean stuff stuff to me like when you play you feel right. like yo this is my number, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I'm my, I'm my That's on facts. My <laughs> so, when I, yeah. so I wanted to keep the three in there, and I was like, yo, like, Katie's literally my favorite player right now. Now that Kobe was out the league, RIP. So yeah. I'm like, yo. So I'm like, man, let me just go with 35, man. So when the summer league came in, which was crazy, I was like, yo, I didn't know how, to, how I was going to play because we had, like, the, like the starting, I wasn't on the starting lineup in the summer league thing, but we had, like, in the training camps, I was, they had me playing, like, a four, bro. Cause we had like uh-huh. guys coming in like uh, Shea, yeah. Zaire, Batiste. Like right. those are more those are more priorities because they've been there and like Batiste was first round. So like yeah. you're just working your way up. So when in practice I'm playing a four and for the purpose of drills I'm rolling. I'm like yo, what am I doing rolling? Like <laughs> <laughs> you feel me though? So I'm like so I'm like so I'm like yo, I don't know how I'm about to play the four in summer league. Like this is my first yeah. game in the NBA. Uh, I'm about to be playing a four. I'm like yo, I don't know how to feel. So mm. um, I was like, yo, let me just come in and just be me. Mm-hmm. They told me right before the game, yo, you know what, Mar, we're going to play you at three. I'm like, thank God. I came in <laughs> off the bench, bro. I came on the bench like, yo, just do my thing, man. Just, just hoop pretty much, bro. So it was good. Some of these dope, man. Man, la- last segment here, man. We're just going to be talking about the bubble a little bit, man. Because, yeah. um, you know, that's a that's a very unique situation. And you was in the – I was talking about it with my with my man Kev, how Sixers was like a – it was also an intriguing situation going to the bubble. You know, a lot of people had you guys at the start of the season going to the finals. And then you get to the bubble, you guys had a weird situation. I think Ben got hurt before, before yeah, going Bam to the bubble. Hurt. Right, so no, um, you know, I got hurt at the bubble. At the, at the bubble. bubble, yeah, at the bubble. during right. seating games, yeah. Right, so um, just tell me about the whole, you know, bubble experience. What was the atmosphere like? The the mindset, the team's mindset, the, the goals, and you know, just just talk about it, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, so like we had like the, the season. Um, it was we had a lot of expectations. Obviously, we got some of the yeah. better players in the league. So, right, like, we didn't get off to the start we wanted to. Um, so like you know how it goes, man. Like big, big city, yeah. big market, superstar players. So we'll get a lot of attention, a lot of like, a lot of media attention and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Once 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 COVID hit, it was like it's almost like yo, we have a fresh new start. Let's go into the yeah. bubble. We have a, you know, a talented team. Let's try to win it all, right? Mm-hmm. Ben gets hurt. So like, damn, losing mm-hmm. uh, a few games. Um, I mean, and then just it, was, it is what it is. It kind of just fell like the momentum of. Right, the team. Uh, we just weren't, we just weren't playing the greatest basketball, but um, yeah, it is what it was, man. But the bubble, the bubble was interesting for sure. Right. But uh, before heading to the bubble, I mean, a lot of people were saying that there were some changes about you know what positions guys were going to play and that, that sort of stuff. So was that something that was discussed during the lockdown? Did you guys keep communication during the lockdown, or it was just like you guys got to Orlando? It was like, yeah, you know, Ben's going to play the four end. And the starting point guard is going to be shaky. <laughs> <laughs> that was more. That was just more coaching staff coming with that. The bubble. It wasn't really like during the um during the lockdown. It was more like, yo, are we even going to play? Like then there was also right. the stuff with uh the uh, the, uh like the the the, the protests and stuff like that. So like basketball wasn't like crazy crazy like like the X's and O's and stuff were it was never pretty much never talked about during yeah like, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It was more just like yo like are we going to play and like what was happening in the world and stuff you know. Right. And during during that time, how how did you get keep in shape? I mean, because did you come back to Ottawa or did you stay over there? And uh, you know, <laughs> how 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 you, how, how'd you, how'd you maintain? You know, because you know the, the season could have came back any time, so you you had to stay in shape somehow, some way. Right, right. So I mean, I had a bike in my my, my apartment. Um, had like a few power blocks. So I was lifting and like pretty much on the bike every day trying to You stayed in Philly. Philly. You stayed in I was in Philly. I was in Philly. I was yeah. in Philly. But but like the gyms are closed so like there's nothing like hooping. You y'all know that like no matter right. what I do, when I come on a court I'm not gonna be the same because it's not like hooping. This is essentially like from March to I think about maybe June I didn't get touch a basketball, like to shoot an actual basketball. The longest mm-hmm. of my life, right? So like yeah. you know, the first day I came in, my first like few like um 
um, form shots with air balls, bro. Cause like I would shoot them yeah. out of my, my, <laughs> in my, uh, in my, in my apartment, but like obviously not put the ball as high as the rim, right? So, yeah. Uh, so just getting that rhythm back was it, it took a while for I think everybody, you know what I mean? So it was, it was definitely crazy, but I mean, not none I think anyone's ever done before. So I mean, obviously, it was your first time playing in the playoffs uh, during the bubble. Was there? Did you notice any difference in the atmosphere between? the seeding games and the playoffs. So like the, those first eight games that you guys played and versus the playoffs, even though there wasn't any fans, but like the tension, especially on and off the court, because you guys were always seeing each other. So what was it like right. between the, the seeding games? Oh, for sure. You could, you, you could see it. it, was, it was, you could feel the energy was different, like and the, from the coaches. So like, yo, it wasn't no more messing no around. Everything was serious. Um, yeah. Trying to get a win, you know what I mean? So like, and, and the guys, guys were playing way harder. The scores of the games are lower. Um, every it felt like every single play was like the last play of the game. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, it was crazy, man. Like, but I mean, and it was and it was your first year in a bubble, you know, different kind of playoff environment. You know, yeah, right. exactly. it's it's in the no crowd. You got to get ready differently. Right. right. What I would say though is like I I think the differently, even though I haven't played in a regular playoff environment. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think it was. I think the games, these NBA playoffs were, would say, more closer and there were more crazy games because like a pickup environment. Like whereas, like, if a, if if a team like if a team like the Clippers are up to be one with like a 15 point lead at home, uh-huh. with a, with, a, a, with a real crowd, like uh, it's harder for Denver to come back. But like an yeah. open gym, it's just like yo. You're just chipping away. <laughs> there's not, it's, yeah. it's true, though, that, that there's not yeah, that same real. pressure. Like, a guy like Paul yeah. just going off, I mean, at, in yeah, like, LA, it's, it's, it's completely different. That's facts. That's yeah, because you hear the D saying, like, it's a lot more like, yo, it feels like you're really playing against, like, thousands of people. I don't, I, don't, I haven't been in a playoff area, but I'll compare right. it to, like, my road games where, like, it's different when you're on the road, man. It, 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 it's a big game. You can feel, like, right. yo, every possession – it's different. And once the team goes on a run, it's hard to come back. Whereas yeah. Yeah. I think this year, I think the games were a little bit closer because it was just a quiet gym. You got the automated sounds, but they weren't really like when you. It, it sounds like normal on TV, but when you're there, like it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't feel, doesn't feel the same. And right. like, for instance, like when the game's over, you hear fake fans, and then it just shuts off. So everyone's walking to the locker room quiet as hell. Like, <laughs> don't, there's no music. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it was just right. a different vibe, but it was cool, man. I think they. And they did a good job with the bubble. I mean, you had some of the better games you've ever seen. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's yeah, true. true. But, but, but also, What's the your, fact is, you know? like, like the, the comfort level is different also because you feel like, for, for instance, a guy like a role player going on the road is different comfort level than just staying in the same gym. And it's like, yeah, tomorrow we're, we're playing again in that same gym, ESPN, right, whatever sure. thing. You know, what, when you're going on the road, it's like, now, now it's a tense environment. So some of the guys that, are not necessarily used to playing 35 minutes. They they get a little more shaky when they go yeah, on the road. Yeah, sometimes they're shaky on the road. Yeah. 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 That, and that's, and you that's, say, Mario, you say you haven't played in a playoff assignment, but let's keep it real. You play at the highest level in the NCAA. Exactly. Sometimes yeah, NCAA, yeah. NCAA, NCAA, NCAA tournament, sometimes even more rocking than, than, right, than right. You know, some of these NBA games. So you, you definitely know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, in college, you know, man, some of the games right. you have on the road are just like, Those fans be yeah. crazy. Like I play, I play that Duke and I play that Kansas. Duke, yeah. like, I just, they could touch you. <laughs> they, could, they could touch you at Duke, and then Kansas was just so loud. But like you know, I love me personally. I love real games. I have some of my better games on the road because like there's less right. distraction. You're not going, especially in college. You don't got to go to class. You're mm-hmm. in the hotel yeah. meeting. You know what I mean? Like you're you're good. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, that, sure. and as far as the, the G League went, so, so this year you were mostly with the Delaware, uh, yeah. the Blue Coats. Um, so how was that? So what was your role on the team? How did you handle that? And what was the like? What was the striking difference from going from the G League squad to the to the NBA team? Right. I mean, I remember my my mindset going to G because like remember I like you said I had a, I had a pretty good summer league. Yeah, came into workouts early last summer, and I, I think I was playing really well. Uh, and even training camp, like even though like you you have to watch and learn and listen and like take it all in. Like when I came in, I was playing company and whatever, whatever. And I remember when they sent me to the G, which I already knew come on to it, so I knew I was gonna be back and forth. 
Yeah. I, think I wasn't. I wasn't really like with no discouragement, nothing like that. I was just like, yo, I came in like, yo, I'm a show that pretty much don't belong here. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Try to dominate every every day. I was coming and killing, ready to work. Like, I wasn't coming there with no no attitude, none of that. So remember, I came in like the first. I think the first scrimmage, man. Like I think I had like 25 and 17 minutes. Like it was crazy. I was like, yeah. <laughs> coming out, coming out, coming out, gunning. First game, yeah. 30, 30 some. Second game, forty two. Like one of the player of the week that first week. Um, and then I just pretty much kept it going from there. After yeah. once the team started to figure out, yo, this dude was nice. I actually <laughs> started facing all, every double team, every trap. It was crazy. Like, yeah, it was good. It was good to to see those defenses. Even though I put my scoring down um, a little bit, it was like I, I felt like I got smarter. Um, Know how to make better reads by the end of the season, so I was feeling comfortable. And like once of the season, is like I feel like I played my best basketball right before the uh, Corona hit. So right, the and it was, was good cool for you. Me. Right, it was good. You was getting right. live reps and all that. So yeah, yeah, you're playing a lot of reps, and it and, and it was cool. Cause you're just playing like I'm showing yo with freedom, opportunity. Yeah. I feel like yo, this is what I could do. You know what I mean? And I'm, right. and I'm, right. hitting, and I'm hitting shots at the toughest level because I'm getting double teams, pin traps. I'm hitting shots off pin downs, contested. Like I'm. Just, I'm making a lot of shots and a lot of plays. My sister, as I said, like throughout the end of the year, I'm getting smarter. My sister are getting more like six assist games, seven, eight assist games. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. usually out, at the beginning of the season, man, hey, wow, well, that coming in, y'all, I'm getting a bucket. I'm getting me some rebounds, trying to win. Right. Getting like two assists, three assists. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I was like, yo, I'm going to give you, I was, I, I, I'm gonna give you these two, three assists. But by the end of the year, I was getting smarter, man. I was getting like six, seven assists. Um, okay. going on those guys. So like my game is getting better, you know what I mean? So G League yeah, right. definitely helped. Um again, like it, it showed it allowed me to show like yo, this is what I can do with freedom, opportunity. Even though I'm not I don't expect to be James Harden on the team, but like yo, with free like hit down these shots, I can come out and hit right. these, these type of these type of um tough looks. Um and uh-huh. I can just make 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 plays, you know what I mean? So it's good. Yeah, no, exactly. You show you showed that you had certain abilities. Um, and that, you know, obviously that, that got them to, to bring you over to Orlando. Um, so to finish it off, so wh- what are some of the things that you're, you're, you're working on this summer and what are your expectations for next year? Right. I mean, right now I'm just working on my body, trying to get a lot more explosive. I felt like the biggest difference, I'm pretty sure, that I would be so like that, like the, the amount of games. So yeah, by the yeah. end, by the, their stretches were like, man, like my legs are heavy, got back-to-backs, are flying in the middle of the night, stuff mm-hmm. like that, like. I'm trying to get my legs stronger. So, like, when I, when I, the time of the season comes, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling strong. Um, and right. I, like, again, like, I've learned this year that, like, remember in college, like, again, when I was telling you guys, I was getting all these reps, all this routine. Like, I learned to really just keep a rhythm. You don't really got to work as much as far as, like, I don't got to get hundreds of shots a day. Like, you got to pick right. a course. You got to pick, like, you got to be smart about it. Sometimes I just need yeah. a rest. Because, like, I'm getting all, all these right. I'm playing three, four games. A week, like mm-hmm. my rhythm's not going anywhere. Let me get yeah. my body right. So I'm just being smart, get my body right. Obviously, tuning up everything, my handle, my um, my shot, trying to make that even better. Um, so yeah, man, that's about it. Man, that's what's up, man. Hey, appreciate you for coming on this pod, Meryl. And, and sure, my dog. like I said, man, I like for I sure. love how you I love how you went into details with it because it's gonna you know like I said it's gonna help a lot of these hoopers out there. You know that have the same the same dreams and 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 you probably inspired them man just by just by talking like that. Exactly, yeah. and a lot of guys may, maybe going through you know the situations that you went through, and you know, yeah. understand a little bit you know what it took for you to get to where you're at now. You know, and 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 the work that you put in, and you know the position that you put yourself into to really succeed at the highest level. You know, so yeah. Hey man, it's but been a pleasure. Hey, yep. You know, you guys have me. Hey man, it's a pleasure to have you. And anytime, if you want to talk hoops, you know, just hit us up, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 y'all know your stuff, man. Y'all, I'm, a, I'm a hoop head. I know everything basketball. Yeah, I know your stuff for sure. I'll <laughs> say the same. I was surprised Thanks, you knew like the exact games I was talking about, especially, especially like 2015 college games. That's crazy, you guys. Yeah, no, 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 we're, no, we're, no, we're tuned in, no, that's for sure, no. any, any conversation, we might, we might have to bring you on, man, when, when, uh, when no, the NCAA I'll season starts, man. Yeah, I love this type of stuff, like the details about basketball, because 
some people, you know, it's crazy. You'd be surprised. A lot of basketball players, even in the league, don't even watch basketball or know about like history nah. or just a little, just a little things about yeah. like what makes a good basketball player or just like what yeah. can keep a good basketball player from being great. You know what I mean? Like so many different things that so many factors that some players don't even understand because they, I mean, yeah. it's not like built like that. You know what I mean? So. Nah. It was dope having this conversation for sure. All right, All right Mar, man. Hold it down, hold it down. Appreciate it, man. All right, fellas, man. Appreciate y'all. All right, man. Yep.